Hello and welcome to another episode of Mocha Latte After Dark. I am your host, JJ Fitzgerald. Today's topic is listening to your inner voice. I was working in radio and I absolutely hated it. I believe that everything happens for a reason. I believe that every situation, every meeting, there's no such thing as happenstance. So when I got my job with this major radio conglomerate, I was desperately in need of one. I had been working for nine months at that point with a man who was a quadriplegic, and I had never done anything like that in my life. My background was entertainment, so this was a brand new field for me. But I know that I was put there for a reason, not just to help a human being, but to also learn something about myself and for God to teach me things about being humble and learning to be grateful. This man that I took care of was amazing. He had been in a wheelchair since he was 16 years old. He was now in his 60s when I started working with him. He had the most amazing social life, but the thing that really struck me the most about him was his disposition and the way he viewed life. Every morning when I would come downstairs, he would say, good morning, my sexy goddess, how are you today? And at first I would grumble because I was trying so desperately to find a job and I I wasn't having any luck. And then one day it was like a light bulb went off and it's like, if this man who has very limited mobility can be positive and cheery, why can't you? That's when things started to look up and I ended up getting this job in radio. And at first things were great, but then as the years went on, things were going on that I just didn't agree with. People were doing things illegally in the building and I had to complain. And once I complained and they found out that it was me that complained, then I became the enemy and I was vilified. But I believe that all of that happened to create discomfort so that I would leave. But instead of me leaving, I stayed longer than I probably should have. But finally, I decided that I wasn't going to put up with the disrespect anymore. I walked into the business manager's office and told her I was leaving. She asked me if I was giving any notice. I said, no. I said, if I come in this building another day, I will definitely snap. So let me just leave before I catch a case. And so I left. It was God speaking to me. He wanted me to leave like two years ago, but I just would not do it. I was not ready because I was at this job for almost six and a half years. So it was routine. And the thing that I did appreciate about the job was that It enabled me to still do the things that I love, like acting. My boss was very supportive of me pursuing my passions. But right before I quit, I just felt like God was on my heart about it. Like, you've got to leave here. If you want me to show you what I have for you, if you want me to open the next door, you have to close this one. If you don't close this door, then I can't open the next door for you. And it had been pressing me for like two weeks. The reason why I was holding on, that I didn't want to have to go through the hassle of finding new insurance and all this other stuff. I just didn't want the extra work. When I did it, I was not concerned at all about my survival. And I have two kids. But I just felt this overwhelming peace, like everything's going to be okay. God has me. He's always had me. He's never dropped the ball. The interesting thing is after I left, I started getting all these auditions and I actually booked a movie. So I shot it last week. I also wrote a song and it's in the movie. I'm getting a credit for that and I'm getting extra money for that. So I'm saying all of this to say, listen to your inner voice. Listen to God's calling. Act on faith. Don't act on fear. And the other thing that I did when I left is I chose not to tell certain people because I didn't want to hear their rhetoric. I didn't want to hear the rhetoric of, oh my gosh, you don't have a job. I didn't want people projecting their fear and lack of faith on me. So if you're one of those people that can be easily influenced by your peers or your family members and you want to make a move like this, it's purely on faith. Don't tell those people. Pray fervently for guidance. I'm at a point in my life where I am like, Jesus, take the will, because there have been some decisions that I have made solely on just what I desired and not consulting with the Lord that haven't been good decisions. 
particularly in my love life. Like my last situation, God made it abundantly clear that this guy was not for me. God communicates a lot with me through dreams. I didn't listen to the dream and four years, I was into this situation with this person. I loved him dearly. I'm a very affectionate person and I had never really met anyone that matched me. Actually, probably was more affectionate than me. And I loved that. And the chemistry was amazing and other things were amazing. And for four years, I did this crazy dance with this person. I was on an emotional roller coaster. He ended up getting married. He didn't tell me. Something told me to just go to the marriage records in the state that he lives in. I did, and there he was. He had been married for three months at this point, was still trying to engage with me and whatnot. But you know, as much as that hurt me, it was exactly what I needed. And God knew that if he did not reveal that to me, I would probably still be doing that crazy dance with him and on this crazy emotional roller coaster that I'd been on for four years. So I am eternally grateful to God for revealing that information to me because I actually did pray for him to get me out of that situation. And I knew that I wouldn't be able to get out of it just based on my own strengths. And since I made that decision, this guy has tried to get back into my life. He's come to my house, texted me, called me the other day. I'm done. I'm at a place in my life where I have decided that I will not settle for less. Whatever God has in store for me is what he has in store for me. I'm tired of navigating my life in the wrong direction. God is my pilot, not even my co-pilot. He is the pilot. I'm going to keep it that way because only he can bring us joy and peace. I think a lot of times as humans, we think, try to rely on others to bring us those things and that is not the responsibility of another human being and I think that's why we get so disappointed when someone lets us down but if you know God and you know how he works and you know his strength and you know his role then you won't be as disappointed in humans why do we give another human being that kind of power take your power back I hope you guys have an amazing day day. I hope that this touches your heart in some way and just lean more on God. Ask him to guide you. His mercy and his grace is so amazing. And don't feel like I haven't spoken to God in so long and he probably won't even hear me because he does. He loves us and he wants us to draw nearer to him so he can draw nearer to us. So that's another episode of Mocha Latte After Dark. Thank you so much for listening and be true.